All right, this is a 98 Ford Windstar GL. It has the Rolex handicap conversion on it. This is a Wheels new project vehicle. Also a backup vehicle in case we need it for whatever reason. You're pretty excited about this thing, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> it's just something, it's something to do. Something cheap to mess around with that's not going to cost thousands of dollars every not, time it goes. Like that truck. Ugh. I still have the truck. Don't worry about that. We'll get back to that at a later time, but this is this is our focus for the time being. But it's it it ain't much, but that's kind of the point, you know. Everyone's got to have a beater that they can just mess around with. Uh, as we come around to this first corner, you can see the first major issue. This tail light is going to need to be uh, replaced and repaired. The challenge with this is it's got a switch, and you press down the switch. And it opens up the conversion. Which leads us to our next uh, issue we definitely want to look at. I believe there's something with this cable. This uh, cable clamp probably slipped or something. Or maybe there's an adjustment up here that we need to look at. And that's causing it to uh, flop down like it just did. That's not how it's normally supposed to operate. If, if we were anywhere else other than on the pavement, it would have gotten stuck and I would have manually have put it down. There's the cargo area. Uh, we did find some hubcaps for it. They're gonna need to be cleaned up, but the ones on here, we've got three out of the four. So you can see the one up there is missing. So we'll, we sourced those from a guy we know locally and uh, we'll just replace them. Now one thing we've already noticed is this hatchback does not like to shut all the way so you gotta slam it we already had uh, the battery go dead once on us because of that issue one of the other things we noticed is when we're going down the road it doesn't go straight and even at about 60 miles an hour it likes to shutter it seems to get a little bit worse when we're braking and we also get the what do you call that that click that we get when we turn typical clicking when you're turning and accelerating so that's most likely a CV joint that needs to be replaced so we need to get uh, someone to go through that front end yeah yeah I'm assuming the ball joints are messed up and there's something making a weird ass noise hopefully we can replicate it what was the weird ass noise it's kind of like a grinding Ear sound. Right, and we couldn't figure out what it could potentially be, where it is, or what it is, or not even a hint. Yeah, I've and never we heard it like before at all. So we'll uh, we'll get this. We'll take a test drive here in a minute. But uh, yeah, uh, these headlights. Well, the driver side one's just fine, but the passenger side one obviously needs some buffing. So we'll uh, we'll get a jack to gyrate on that one again hey i like the plate <laughs> the tires are decent yep nope. um it's got the 3.0 v6 which is surprisingly good looking i want to show that i already lost the keys to it in my pocket So when you get a fresh battery in it, it pops off, no issues. Close the door and get the dinging to stop. Stop the dinging! Stop the hammering! Jesus Christ. Crazy fucking sound coming in my ear. Only 144,000 miles. Yeah, this window does not work. Not sure what the issue is. You can press on it all you want. And I even tried the passenger side switch and that doesn't work either. So I don't know if we got a burnt out. Sucks since we don't have AC. Yeah, 
no AC, like these don't even work at all. The radio does work. I noticed this speaker right here I think is uh, blown so that might have to get replaced at some point in time. That's not storage, that's a mirror. There you go, you can watch the kids playing in the back seat. There's a coin storage, and like glasses, sunglass storage. I don't even know what that's for. It looks like there's something there at some point in time. Is that rear volume control slash radio controls? That's crazy. The interior's in pretty good shape. The anchor points are a little bit rusty, but they're fully functional. You can see the straps are already inserted up there. Those we had gotten from a previous vehicle. Those could use a little bit better restoration, but they're they're functional now, so that's probably good enough. Let me pop the hood, and we can look at this pretty motor. It's an engine. <laughs> I was waiting for that. Yeah. Runs so smoothly. Runs just like a top, ain't that right? Yeah. And uh, we better get this uh, test drive on the way. Looks like rain. All right, so we got it on the road now. And as we accelerate, we'll listen for various noises that it likes to make. Now that rattling sounds like it's likely a panel that's loose. Bottomed out. That's just with minimal braking. And then as we go around the corner, hopefully we'll hear the CV joint. Yeah, you can see how much I'm uh, pulling on the wheel to keep her going straight. Hyper flash. In theory, it should be the tail light that's busted out. Well, there we go. That's uh, a brief driving video for you, just to give an idea of what we have to work with. Now we're back to our uh, birthplace of this vehicle to get the plates for it. Everybody say hi to Johnny. This is the place we bought the Windstar from. This is one that they had on hand. So they just pulled it out of the yard and put it on the rollback for us. It's gonna be donor parts for interior pieces and that tail light that we need to fix up this thing. So we're gonna be heading out here shortly. So we're back at headquarters. Gonna unload it. Bob here is kind enough to drive it all the way down for us.
Beautifully done. So that tail is crap. Aw. That one's not much better. <laughs> it's better than what we got though, yeah. so. Maybe you can figure your switch in there somehow. Yeah, maybe. The door doesn't open there. Uh, I don't care. And this panel's all pulled apart for us, so. All right, thanks. Should work out for us. At least the interior pieces will work out. So yeah, that was kind of last second, but uh, I, I guess we have a parts vehicle. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I didn't even expect that. Yeah, we were thinking that we'd either pull parts over there or maybe come by later with the truck when we get that back and uh... Nope, he's like, nope, I'll drop it off for you. We're not a drive an automatic. <laughs> well, the thing is, shit, the shift. I'm not giving you shit because it sounds absurd. <laughs> we're not a drive an automatic. Yeah, it's like, huh? Huh? What? I'm gonna drive a stick. Uh, what? Stick? What kind of stick? This is, this is a stick right here. I'm gonna put my mouth on it. Come in, Felicio. But anyway. Just look at right here. Uh, yeah, there'd be an explosion. <laughs> so what you're saying is by touching that red spot in just the right way, there's an explosion? Exactly. So now that we got those parts, in that van, I guess we can get started on this one. Definitely.